Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're filming downstairs at the Love Style Studios. Change of scenery, why not? Today we're going to be talking about staying positive during tough times or any time, really. What kind of person are you? Are you a naysayer? Do you always look on the bright side? The glass is half empty, the glass is half full. There's an opportunity with every negative thing that happens. These are all examples of different expressions you may have heard over the years about looking at the bright side of things. You may hear my kitty in the background walking around. That's the great Starina. I hope she's always welcome. So being positive. When times get tough, a lot of people find this hard to do or impossible for some. You know, we think of what if this happens? What if that happens? We can't be worried too far into the future. That is not being present. I'm not going to say I'm an expert on this. It's very tricky sometimes, especially when things are looking a little sticky, a little grim, but we have to be at our best. We have to have compassion for others. We have to keep it light. Sometimes you may have to be that person that keeps the light in your group, your household, your family. That's okay. This is the time for you to shine. Be the light in the room. Don't be afraid to bring up the morale. I sometimes feel like this is my duty in life. Hopefully I'm doing that today for somebody. I have a lot of Sagittarius in my astrology chart. If you follow astrology, you'll kind of get the feeling what that means. I like to keep things bright, big, looking at the bright side of things, no matter what. It's a challenge. I must say at times. But it beats the alternative. You know, if you keep up your morale, you keep up the positivity in your body, there's less chances that you'll get any kind of virus. There's less chances you'll get sick if you keep things positive. This is what we want to try to do. It'll help in the long run. Trust me, your mind and your body are relying on you to tell them it's okay to get the vibes in the body matching to resonate at a high frequency. We want to try to do this every day, whatever it takes. This starts with eating healthy. Of course, number one, getting a lot of sleep is very important to the health of the body mind, body, and soul. You want to keep everything working properly. You know, trying to keep it positive. You have your mind, your body, and your soul. So for your mind, you want to listen to uplifting types of material at this time. Something that may make you laugh is always a nice idea. We were looking for something good to watch. We saw a pandemic. We saw another scary sounding movie. We stayed away from those right now. Our psyche is a little bit more vulnerable at this time. This goes for everybody. I'm sure you want to watch the office parks and recreation, the big Lebowski, whatever makes you laugh. Those are some of our favorites, you know, keep it light at this time. This is very important to your health. You know, we were listening to YouTube yesterday. There was a guy on there. He was a doctor. Man, I listened for about five minutes. I started getting crazy in my head. He says, we're all going to die. I had to give myself a break. I started getting excited. It's not good for you to listen to this kind of stuff at this time. I don't think this is how it's going to go down. There are people already recovering within days from this. This is something that is very curable with your own body. If you get sick, 
you're gonna get better. And that's as simple as it can be for most of us, healthy people. You know, it might be smart to just educate yourself every other day, a few minutes about what's going on in the world, being in touch with your community and what is actually happening in reality is smart. You don't wanna dwell on it. You don't wanna sit there for an hour and listen to this. If you're trying to get your mind, body, and soul to resonate high, you gotta give it limits. Five minutes in the morning maybe, 10 minutes at night, every couple of days, this kind of thing. You know, a lot of people are healing themselves. You know, you wanna pay attention to what's going on in your community, that's okay. What's going on right around you is what you should be concerned with at this time. You know, the big cities have to treat this a little bit differently than some of us out here in the country. We're being aware and mindful of our surroundings without becoming hysterical. This is not the time for hysterics. You can listen to some Greg Braden, which is who I recommend. He has a very positive outlook. You know, Greg Braden has a very factual and practical and very up-to-date take on this. Listen to Greg Braden. He'll make you feel just a little bit more at ease about the whole thing. This works for us. So staying positive is super important always, but especially now. You know, being the light in the room, be proud of that. People's feelings are valid, so please don't invalidate somebody else's feelings. Even if you disagree with them, let them speak their mind. They need to get it out. But don't be afraid to add a little light to the situation. Everything's gonna be okay. You may have to say that sometimes. You may have to say that to a friend or a coworker or your children or your husband or your parents. Make sure you call your parents. We can't be hugging up on our moms and dads right now, but they're older. Please take the time to call your parents, to tell them you love them. You know, we get into these little squabbles sometimes with our family. It doesn't mean shit right now. It's not important. You love each other and that's important. This is what the world is realizing these days. What's really important? Right now, love is the first thing we're concerned with. You're loving yourself. You're treating yourself well. You're getting the nutrients you need. Now is a great time to add some supplements to your regime. That's what we've done over here at Love Style. I'm not big on supplements normally. We started taking some reishi mushroom, some charcoal, a little extra D vitamins, trying to eat the liver, drink the bone broth. These are just some tips. Make sure you keep your vitamins in. You're gonna need them now. You wanna keep the immune system working at its best. You know, at this time, being positive means be careful what you're letting into your body. I don't just mean food and I don't just mean nutrition. I mean into your mind, what you're watching. If you watch something crazy on YouTube, like we said, things can escalate in your mind. And before you know it, you've created a reality that's never going to happen. That doesn't exist. It doesn't pay for you to become hysterical at this time. You wouldn't want your children to see you hysterical. You wouldn't tell your children to become hysterical. I like to use this as an example. You know, love each other. Love on your pets. Give them some extra pets at this time. Some extra love. A little more cuddling with each other. A little more I love you. Put the squabbling aside. It's not important. You know, I hate to say this, but if anything ever happened to someone you love, you would regret all of the little squabbles that you've fought about. People never think about this until it's too late. I hate to mention it, but now is the time to realize loving each other, being positive, 
being healthy, so important. Very important. I think that's what we're coming to learn, especially in the last few weeks. It's very important. That's why we call this love style. And most importantly, it's good for your immune system. You want to keep things upbeat inside and out. So your mind, be careful what you watch, what you let in. Those thoughts, you have control over that. Your soul, you want to make sure you take a few moments of quiet time, maybe a little meditation, try five minutes. You want to use the word love a little more. You want to show a little more love these days. This affects your entire body. And then your body, of course. You want to feed that with the greatest nutrition you can. Keep up the vitamins. Drink a lot of water. Please keep clean. Wash your hands often. Keep away from public places where there's been a lot of people. Get outside. Sit in the yard. But most importantly, be positive. We're going to get through this. We've gotten through a lot of things over the years. This is another thing I know. It's not that easy. Please keep positive. When you are positive, it resonates not into your home, not into your very direct surroundings. It resonates into the universe. This is something that's hard to understand. When you love, it goes to all of us. It reaches all of us. If we all do this together, we can change the entire planet, the entire universe, and we can heal faster. So it's very important. Thank you for tuning in today to Love Style. Remember to laugh. Remember to keep it light right now. Take a vacation from your problems. I stole that from a movie. Let me know which movie you think it's from in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what we do here. I could use a little more interaction with you. We're just getting this channel started, third month in. Let us know how we're doing. Check out Black Eyed Soul, that's our music. We had to take apart the drums upstairs so we can start recording. We may revisit the music studio later. And thank you for tuning in to Love Style. We love you. Stay healthy. And peace.